All right, before we get started in today's video, I do want to mention it's sponsored by a brand new game coming out exclusively for the Xbox One called Shape Up. And you saw me show you this in another video. Well, there's also a new launch trailer that you can actually watch if you click on the link in the description box below. But this game really takes two things I really love, working out and video games, and combines it into one really great experience. And in fact, it can get you involved or maybe another family member or a friend can again, really spend some quality time while still burning calories and making all kinds of gains in the points department. So if you're interested in this, again, in the description box, you'll find a link, check it out. Let me know what you think. And now let's get on to the video. All right, here in my bathroom today because unfortunately it is time to trim up this beard. Now I have been growing it out for about two weeks and this is the point where it is itchy as hell and it is starting to steal my gains. The Beyonce does definitely not approve and trying to eat this thing absorbs everything from water to food to macros more importantly. So I need to do it for my gains and that's obviously the most important thing. And as you can probably see, pretty gross, pretty thick. Probably have a little bit of fun with it first, if you know what I'm saying, but let's get to it. Trim this bad boy up. All right, so first phase of the trimming is done, and now we have a goatee, and this is just nasty, but it's gonna get worse. All right, so now we got the handlebar and flavor saver. I told you it was gonna get worse. Now it's of course time for everybody's favorite pedo stash. All right, so got everything all cleaned up finally and it does still look like I have somewhat of a beard, which is good because I do not look like I'm 12. That didn't give it away for you or not, but feels a lot better. So this is what I'm gonna stick with. Unfortunately, just beard and mustache are not in my immediate future. All right, so of course back in the car outside the gym to do this chest day, which always follows my deadlift day, which was the last video that you saw. So for this day particularly, it's going to be a rep day, and this is the start of phase two. So what's different from last time? Well, in phase one on the rep days, we did three sets of eight with a certain percentage. This time around phase two, we're actually lowering it to three sets of six, so lower reps, but the stipulation being that we're going to increase the percentages of our one rep max that we're using. So we're getting a little bit heavier in weights, hence less reps. And then what we're going to do is some assistance work. And that's really how these days are built out. One main movement followed by several pieces of assistance work. And depending on the day, overhead press, I'm looking at you, a lot of bro work or do whatever the hell you want to feel like day. So we got to get them feels in, get them pumps in. But today is going to be a chest day and it's not Monday. But again, every day is chest day. So rather than me just sit here and talk about how my pressing sucks, let's cut to the chase. Let's get the foreplay out of the ring, and get straight to banging, and let's talk about the commentary in the clips to follow. All right, so as I say, bench press day to day, three sets of six at 265 pounds, and I'm actually using the physical bench press in the gym today. I don't like to use it that much. I traditionally like to use the power rack, the squat rack, the curl rack, whatever you want to call it. Today, I decided to go ahead and use the good old bench press, and things moved pretty well. Now, one of the things I'm still trying to figure out is where to work in paused reps, and I think I might take the stance of only doing paused reps if it's below five, or maybe I'll alternate them in with my speed day, so even though I'd be pausing, try to then be explosive as possible with a lighter weight. I haven't really decided yet, but I will figure that out hopefully sometime soon. One of the things that has really helped me with my bench press, and even though it's still not overly impressive by any means, is doing different takes off of the main lift. So doing assistance work that still emulates the main lift, but just a little bit different. So you'll see a lot of that in my assistance work. I'm going to vary through it, but one of the things I'm trying out these days is the floor press, which is something I hardly ever do. So I figure I might as well start doing it because let's be honest, it's not going to hurt my bench any. What I ended up doing was after that rep day, I'd mentioned in previous videos, wanting to follow up rep day with a strength movement. So I just worked up to a heavy set of three, in that case of 295. From there, we moved on to three sets of 12. And this guy is definitely Myron in the mirror. Oh, didn't think I'd get you, but I got you. Three sets of 12 of 100 pound dumbbell presses again here. Felt pretty good. Just again, more rep bodybuilding style work day. Now I did consider doing incline dumbbell presses here for a hot minute, but I figured I'd do flat only because I did incline last week and this would let me use more weight. But doing assistance work, one of the things I'm gonna focus on too is making sure I rotate through a bunch of different solid exercises just to make sure things don't get overly stale. Then I did some pet deck. You see some forearm and fapping vascularity popping through just a little bit. So it looks like my biceps are showing a little. Juicy hammies. I might actually look like I lived here. That is surprising. I should probably save this clip. But I had three sets of 15 here with 180 pounds. By the third set, my chesticles were definitely burning a little bit. So 
guess you could say it was a pretty darn good workout. And from there, we actually moved on to some triceps extensions and tricep push downs. This is one of the things I really trying to work on because my triceps are lacking that horseshoe that you know I'd really like, but I do what I can. So I did three sets of 10 here. Maybe I did 12, I don't know. My count was not that good, but only used 90 pounds. And again, with these, I wouldn't really worry about the weight because it's all about the feel and the burn, but this is a pretty solid ending to my chest day. So I appreciate you watching. In the meantime, as always, stay big.